Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to do a unboxing of an Atlas uh, battery powered push mower. All right, we got this in earlier this week, and the batteries and the charger come in by themselves. Uh, and I took the liberty to go ahead and charge these batteries up. So let's go right into the uh, unboxing. All right, we're going to try to do this without cutting my fingers off. Hey, let me show you this. This is all the uh, uh, yard equipment they have out now. And uh, some of it's 40 volts and some of it's 80 volts. Uh, check out this 80 volt uh, 18 inch chainsaw. We might, we might have a need for that in the future. If this holds up as well as I think it's going to, uh, that, that definitely has a future. All right, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, when we take it out of the box here. It is a 21 inch cut. It's self propelled and it has a, you can either run it with the discharge to the side or a mulching kit and uh, we're probably going to do the mulching kit because and use the or not use the mulch kit but use the bag because Tanya's chickens uh, we're going to put all that grass in the chicken house and they'll enjoy that all right this is what it looks like and my knife over here cutting, cutting this dude out pretty well packaged and just first impressions looking at it, the build quality looks really, really good. Now I will say this, that uh, over the last, uh, I, I would say, the last two or three years, Harbor Freight has uh, started really carrying some high-end quality stuff. And this seems to be one of those. Here's the side chute. We'll go ahead and set that out of the way. And here's the thing we need to look for. The destructions. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, instructions. That's right. That's right. All right, here's the instruction booklet. It's for the self-propelled and the push version. And we have the self-propelled version. And uh, just glancing over the, uh, the instructions, they're really clear, uh, good pictures, good quality instructions. I think it'll make it easy. There is the most improper way to use a, a knife. I'm gonna pull these off. Looks like there's not gonna be that much assembly. Pretty. We cut and dry. All right, let's see if I can get this dude out of here by myself. Because Tanya is working the camera. Get all this out of the way. All right, so what I'm going to do is set this down. not cheap built this is definitely not cheap built all right so we're going to take this out of the way no one should read instructions no one should read instructions all right no one should read instructions but i got this so all right here's the little lever you pull out Give you some close up to that got these little pins you pull out so you can adjust it uh, to whatever height you want to be at on your handle up and down. So we'll set it at the highest point. All right, and then here is the. Let's see. Huh. Smarter than me might have to do this. There we go. Look at that. I would say that's gonna go like such. Okay, yeah. Now I should read instructions. Instructions are good. They are your friend. Hey, I was doing the right thing. See, you're smart. I don't know about that. Let's not get carried away. Alright, where's 
my pen I have to fill out here it is. So let's put this one in here. So they will each help hold each other. Gosh, I can't believe I'm putting this on video. I can rebuild a tractor engine, but I can't put a mower together. Now, this is really easy. If you take into account following the instructions, it's a pretty easy job. Okay. One thing I forgot to say is there's little wire looms there behind the nuts. We did go ahead and put the wires through the looms, but I did not mention it in the video. All right, now we'll take this. See if we can get this plastic on. I probably could use another blade in there. I can see it's pretty much done we're not going to run the side chute I said we're going to catch the grass uh, for the chicken so that means we're going to do this and I did see this in the uh, instruction you're going to pull this piece out if you're going to use the rear chute or you can push this back in and just let it mulch completely so we're gonna we're gonna use this grass let's see if I can figure this out by myself without instructions huh. Come on. Well, how about that? That's just too simple. Do it again. Do it again. All right, so taking it off, you just pick this handle up, dump your grass, and then you come back and you pull this lever or this door up, and you hang it back over, push the door back down, and it catches everything in the grass. Everybody right. can do that. Everybody can do that. If I can do it, anybody can. All right, look in there. This one, you can see the sides are, lets the air go through. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh, adjust the height. And we're gonna do all this before we put the batteries in. That means there's no danger. So there's level one, level two. I'm gonna do this one finger. Level three, level four. I don't believe I've ever seen a lawnmower adjust this easy. All the way to level seven. That's one finger. Level seven is a little harder, but still I did it one finger. We're gonna do it on level three. And let's go and put the batteries in. All right, now we're gonna put the batteries in. It's pretty easy. You just lift this this hatch up there's a safety key right here and we'll, we'll put that in last take the batteries and you'll see it's got a little shoe that goes straight down clicks right in takes two two of these and you can see there now we're going to put the safety key in and this thing should work bam bam all right let's talk about the controls uh, to start it, you're going to push this button down and pull this back, and that'll cause it to start. It will not start unless you hold the button down and pull this. Then you have your control here as you pull this up, uh, and, and it'll go forward. I got it on low right now. All right, so when you push this up, this makes it go forward, and this button here, or this lever, is you push forward, it makes it go faster, mow faster forward. So you pull it back, this is where you walk slow. If you're a teenager, you're gonna push it like this. Obviously, I'm gonna start out in slow, so here we go. That feels pretty comfortable. Let me back it up here. Let's do it on fast. Oh Lord. Yeah, that's teenager mode. Let's put this thing back on county mode. All right, now we're gonna start the mower. So, Push the button down. Wow, it's really quiet. I mean, it is really, really quiet. So we're gonna start on low and just we'll, we'll get to mowing. We're gonna pick up the speed a little bit. Wow, it does a really good job.
Oh, you gotta let both of them go. All right, so I let go of the top one and left held the bottom one down, and it was still going without mowing. So to start it again, push the button down. Now you can push this by hand if you want to. And to be honest, uh, it's very comfortable to push. I like it, does a really good job. I've got this on the lowest speed. We're gonna pick it up just a little bit, about midway. And when you wanna turn, all you do is let off the back, rotate around, and then push the controls to go forward again. Wow, this does a really great job. This is effortlessly. Effort, effortless? There you go, that's the word I'm looking for. Hey, y'all be patient with my Southern. All right, this grass is not too high, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mow up this bank. See how easy it is. So you go up, let go, it's got a break. That's nice, it gives you a few seconds before you can go backwards, I mean like a half a second. That keeps you from falling backwards and the mower coming down on top of you. See? Oh, you gotta push forward just a little bit to release it. All right, we're learning. So you push up, let off, keep pushing forward, and then it'll come back. Now it's got a break, it's got a safety feature in there. So it's a few seconds before it can go backwards on its own. There we go. Yeah, we gotta learn this. Go up. That's what it is. Okay, now we got we know what's going on. So you take, it's got a safety feature in it. You go up forward, and as you get to the top of the hill, you release it and keep pushing it just a second, and then you let it rolls back freely. So you can really do this well. My grass is not terribly high, so let's carry it over here and get it some uh, grass that's a little bit more challenging. All right, we've been doing this testing, so let's go ahead and show you what we've done so far. Tanya's chickens are going to love that. All right, this is a zoyer grass that hadn't been cut in a few days. A buddy back here, they're building them a new house and they're preoccupied with that. So we're going to take a little bit of a, a sample of their grass. So again, we're going to push the button down. Put it back about a half speed. And here we go. It doesn't really make a difference at all. I'm gonna go here and turn, come back towards you. You re release the, the pull part. Wow, that does a really great job. That's amazing. Oh, I missed the spot. Let's go a little bit faster. I'm going to turn around and come back towards you. Just release the, uh, or disengage the, the self-propelled part, and then we'll keep going forward again. And when we get ready to turn, we're going to disengage it. Just let that handle drop, spin it around. And then again, re-engage the, the drive. And I'm going to make a corner here with it still engaged. Let's see what that does. All right, that's not bad, not bad at all. A few little sticks and stuff here. Doesn't seem to matter at all. Doesn't really care. I'm uh, so amazed at how battery technology has increased uh, performance of things like this. So we're gonna mow here just a little bit and see what our battery life will look like. I'm telling you, we're gonna, we're gonna mow here for a pretty good little piece and see what it does, see how long these batteries will last.
It's got plenty of power. Pretty thick grass. This, like I said, this is zoya. It's a very hard grass to cut. It takes a lot of power. It's really comfortable. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna push this thing all the way forward and go as fast as it'll mow and see what happens. See if we, when we get through, we'll look at this and see if we can tell any difference in the quality of the of the mow. And we're gonna go uphill now. And it doesn't just take off really fast. It it slowly increases in speed to its full speed, so it won't it won't yank you. I like that. It's very well thought out. Now, I have missed a little patch of grass a couple of times, so I think as we get more used to it, I'll quit doing that. You gotta overlap the one wheel just a little bit. It's doing a great job, though. We're gonna overlap this just a little bit, make sure we get a clean cut. I'll tell you right now, this is thick, straight up zoya grass. I got this, the speed set about halfway. Uh, we're still on the same battery charge. And uh, we'll hold it down. Yeah, I could hear it when it hit the grass. So let's just go ahead and see what it does. All right, here's the property line. And you can see the grass is a little bit lower, I mean, uh, longer here. So we're gonna go ahead and start it up. We're gonna mow around these bushes. Get a little real world on the bushes. All right, the bushes, I'm gonna pull it back to a slower speed. I can tell that I need to do that. Honestly, I don't even need the, need the drive. It's a heavy mower. It's heavy enough that it's heavy. You don't feel like it's cheap, but it's well balanced enough that you can just move it around pretty easy. I would say anybody, pretty much in any health, could uh, could mow this mow with this mower. But one of the reasons we are interested in this mower is because when I pull the uh, tractor mower around the chickens, it really uh, you know it's really loud. And it scares the chickens, so we're afraid of once they start laying eggs. Once we scare them, they're going to quit laying eggs. So I think this is going to be really quiet. It's not going to disturb them very much. I don't know that it's easier enough to me just to not even use the self-propelled uh, feature here and just go backwards and forward with it. It's not heavy. It rolls great. The wheels are really well, uh, I don't know if they're lubricated or got bearings in them, but they are absolutely, it's easy to push. All right, let's do a little bit more. All right, what I'm gonna do now is take off up through here in our yard. Our, from this point to the end of our yard, it's probably uh, at least a football field long and a little longer. So we've been mowing a long time and we've mowed a lot of grass already. More than, I mean, this is, this is impressive, it really is. So, but anyway, let's put it on high, start it, we're gonna take off. Still doing a great job. I don't, this Zoya, you can hear it in the Zoya. As soon as it got in that, it picked the motor up. So it's got some really smart technology. If we can see me coming back, I can't mow straight, I can tell you that. I've been testing this little mower out, and as I'm testing it, 
I can see all these little zigzags across my yard. That's okay. This is gonna be great mowing by the chickens. Woo! Get a hole. I'm telling you, this is great. You wouldn't have to worry about gas and a lot of problems with gas mowers. Just like if you let it, uh, the gas set in it, it'll turn to varnish and then it won't run. That happens quite often. Gas just doesn't hold up like it used to. With this, you just get through, take the batteries out, put it in the charger, and you're ready to go again. Like I said, the main reason we're interested in this is to mow around the chickens. So let's go do that. This is one of the reasons that we wanted uh, this mower is uh, because the chickens. They're getting ready to start laying eggs. It will be maybe a three or four more weeks. And the mower, gas mower is really loud and it startles the chickens. And if you, if you know anything about chickens, if they get scared, they won't lay. So we're gonna try this here. And uh, I can tell you already, it's way, 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 way uh, quieter than a uh, conventional mower. So push the button down. And that's that. It's so much quieter. Oops, I got it going on too fast. Boy Gizmo, he don't like nothing electric. What do you think, buddy? Is this Gizmo approved? Okay, we have been mowing and mowing and mowing. Wow, it still shows full charge. This one's, so we have, this one's went. Do it again. Okay, this one's been down to one bar, but this one's still full charge. So we still can mow double the amount of time that we've mowed. I'll tell you right now, this thing will outmow me. All right, once you get through with this, you're, there's two knobs here on the side. I just take my little leg here, put put it up under it, pull it past the first one. All right, now it's pulled past. Then while it's in an up position like such, you're gonna unscrew these knobs here until they are in the free position. And you're just gonna fold it down like such. And now, you can put it against the wall. How about that? All right, here's the mower blade. There, the key, the safety key's out. There's no batteries in it, so we're in no danger. This is a mulching blade, and it also has these uh, fins here to help blow the the uh, grass out. So that's why it sounds like a uh, it sounds more like a a blower in some in some ways. So it's actually force feeding the air out into the uh, grass catcher. Hey, I'd like to uh, take this time to thank you for watching the channel. If you like what we do, hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button and the little bell. The little bell notification will let you know when we put out something new.